prison, prison lived in Paterisville that, that hit our buggy, you know. But we never found out, we never saw that woman since she hit us. Yeah. But she used to live, uh, was working in Worcester Hospital, I guess, and she was on her way to go to the hospital to work there, and, and I guess she didn't see us on the road or something. We had a blinker going, didn't we? Yeah. <laughs> we were not even supposed to have those. No, and, and she hit us even with the blinker. Yeah. And, uh, and she said she thought she had a deer. Huh? And she said she thought she hit a deer. Yeah, she said she thought she hit a deer. Oh, yeah. Yeah, you know, I was a little before I was 61 years old. Uh, what year was that again? Uh, 96 or... Or 97, what year was that again? 97. It was 97. December 16, 97. Okay. Maybe you could find out on the computer uh, what her name was to hit us in that, that time of the, of the year. Yeah, I'll, I'll, I'll think about that. I'll, I'll see if I can, what I can come up with. See what her name was. We can't see her, but maybe we can see, find out what her name was. Well, I might be able to find a picture somewhere. I don't know. Might even. She might have. It might be in a newspaper somewhere that uh, you might be able to, to look it up. Yeah. How many years has it been now? Twelve. Twelve years. Yeah, it was a little over twelve years now. December 16, which was past, now it's, now it's past my birthday. So it's over 12 years, a little bit. How are you feeling? Oh, I still got... It hurts kind of when I sit too long in my budget. Sort of shuts the circulation off if I sit too long. It's just this one leg that really hurts me when I sit too long. Yeah, I'm uh, right now. I'm working on a on a deal with a with a guy who's uh, who's uh, trying to sell. I make a three fish oil and uh, try to help uh, sell that stuff. Uh, I think it might even help you. I'm not sure. You know, that, I'm not entirely really sure what the benefits are. My my fish oil, what I use is Omega Q Plus. It's from Stefan. Sinatra. Stephen Sinatra sells that stuff. Okay. Well, this guy, this guy that I'm working with, they make their own, they make their own uh, fish oil. And, uh... Okay. Can I get any tired? You gotta watch out, though, that, you know, some of those fish... Uh, Big fish that have, uh, maybe have mercury or some kind of uh, yeah. stuff in it. Yeah, he says he has to 
Yeah. Well, actually, his dad makes it, but he's at, uh, they make it, make it out of the best, how does the he, best fish that they can. How did he take that toxins out? I think I think they have to, to be selective in what kind of fish they get, or where, where they get the fish and stuff like that. Did this uh, Omega Q Plus get get their fish way down south, but farther south, south in South America, uh, where about no contamination is, you know, from factories and stuff. And they they only kind of catch the the smaller fish, the smaller fish are not so apt to have toxins in them as the bigger fish that might have uh, swallowed some toxins. I don't know. I, I'm not. I'm not an expert in that in it, but I guess that that makes sense. I like sense. Does it? Uh, so what? What is? Have you had any improvements with it, or? I thought I felt pretty good with my heart. You know, <coughs> the other stuffs that they give me, like Swedish bitters and stuff, I think that would, that helps uh, make me loose and make me too loose. You know. <laughs> San Corral, I don't think, uh, made me too loose. It's just about right or something. But all those things together, it helps, you know, make it too much, right? Huh? Yeah, if you, if you want to, it's always good to have your, uh, have your, uh, your minerals and, uh, all your, all your minerals and, uh, vitamins and whatnot. Especially when you have uh, health issues already, you know? Yeah. But, uh, I think, like, Tuesday, a guy comes up around here, sounds guy. He comes and checks the eyes, he reads the eyes, and then he can see whether I'm lacking in some mental stuff, you know, and then. He, uh, he writes down what I need to improve my health. Makes sense. See, my shoulder still hurts. See how, how I can make it sound? Uh, they cracking. <laughs> just like it's. Well, I've been, just, been like that for for years now, or is that just recent? Or? I mean, was, uh, at least a year, you know. I put my jaw to the side or a little bit, make me look funny. <laughs> I can make it uh, sound funny, but the right side, and the links and the left side, don't seem to make it. Yeah. Well, I, I, I have, uh, my back sometimes cracks too, and especially when I, when I uh, work and stuff, so. <laughs> I don't know what a chiropractor would be able to fix my neck or not. My, Amanda says, I know, Mary Ann says, the Lord can fix it for me. If I pray to him to get it fixed. Did you break it and then, no. then did it, you had to pull it out? The dentist had to pull it out. 
he bumped it. So, so Daddy pulled it out? By pliers. With these. Why did he teeth. take your teeth out for? <laughs> Because <laughs> they were almost, they were almost out. Dude. It was a baby teeth. Yeah, it was. They were almost out. They were just. Well, you'll get some other ones. It probably some others will grow in the same spot. Yeah, yeah, they'll, they'll grow in. There's another loose one. <laughs> but you got to keep uh, brushing your teeth. Unlike Deb, unlike Deb. Yeah, he doesn't brush his teeth. Well, we were not really... We didn't get, get into the habit of it growing up. Like we should have, you know? Yeah, it would probably be alright to brush them, but... I've heard people say if they brush them, then they, their gums bleed. Well, that's what mine... How mine are, but... But I think if I had done it more during growing up, I probably would have. They probably would have been more used to it, you know. Yeah. Yeah, you should use a a new brush every once in a while. You know? Oh yeah. So a new brush is more pliable. Than that so stiff. Yeah, and I got I got uh, uh, Insurance now for fixing my teeth, but I haven't gone to the dentist yet to to do so. They really can fix them up now. Yeah. If they have insurance, but they can. They have modern equipment. They don't. Um, don't pull the they have modern equipment to really make your mouth look nice. Hey, don't put that in your mouth. That's not good. I don't want you to get chip you might chips. Swallow it and might get stuck in your, your throat. Can you hear this? Could you hear it? <coughs> Cracking his, his neck. Cracking my neck. You look kind of funny when you make your face. One doctor in the barn said, when I did it to show him how it cracks, he said, it, uh, I'm about, I could go and play the, the I don't know what, some kind of music, you know, with that sound, like a crackling thing. <laughs> <laughs> like a drum. We have a long ride from Loudonville to here. If you, Four hour drive. If you would have drove faster, it wouldn't have took so long, maybe. If you didn't have a wreck, you know. Well, another we thing, another thing about it is stop. our brakes are not so good. <laughs> we took stops, though. Yeah, we were we got to to one one stop sign and uh, I was like, oh, I can't stop. <laughs> and uh, and I uh, I turned and just just went up uh, the road and uh, and just like a couple hundred feet up the road, uh, a steady is is passing me. <laughs> I'm like, I had to be. I'm like, I. Had, he probably saw you. No, he didn't. He didn't see me because he was like he was like over the hill. Oh yeah. Uh, <laughs> he didn't get to see me <laughs> running to stop or something, but could you tell, um, I couldn't stop. Could you tell whose voice was um, was talking to you? Could you? You know, one. Uh, man I, was, I was coming man in. that once was good at the wheel, you know with his car, and he was speeding, and he saw that the cop was, you know, coming mm -hmm. for him, and then he uh, 
speed it up more and went over the hill and and then he spun his car around and went on the other lane and going the other way and the cop lost him. <laughs> that was on 250. Uh, I think it was on uh, west of Woos west of Mount Eden. Hey, uh... And then he said, they went to the restaurant and heard the cops say about how a, a guy, uh, he was following a guy, you know, to arrest him for speeding, and he, uh, he lost him. He couldn't have figured out how he got away from him. And then, then he heard the cops say that, and then, then, he, uh, I'm like a he, then he said to the cop, if you don't want to arrest me, uh, if you want to arrest the guy, uh, I will tell you who it was. It was himself. <laughs> like a Houdini. Yeah. Yeah. Hey, can you remember that time when you uh, when you uh, got that that car and and went went to. Uh, to uh, was it uh, Cleveland? Well, I was like, sorry, guy. No, I I didn't go that far with that stolen car. Yeah, stole it in of LA summer. Lot in that feed mill. I was just wild, you know. I wanted to see where I could drive the car. I was just uh, <laughs> and then I uh, got in there, turned the key, and, and it started, and I put it in gear, and drove out on the road, then, I don't know, did I change gears and then I might have, and then I stepped on the pedal and went around the buggy, and then on and on until about 2.50, I saw cars, I saw cars moving, I said, so I'm close to that 2.50, I better slow down, and to, I have to slow down to before I get hit 2.50, and then, as I, I actually took it out of gear, and I, I pressed on the brakes. Of course, it was too slippery. It was either wet or a little bit icy. And of course, the car just slipped. Just slipped and hit the guardrail and, and turned over. Turned over in the field. I was. It was on the top of the. The, the vehicle was on its top. It was a Ford. Mm -hmm. And I just crawled out the went to the, the side door. Mm -hmm. But I, I left my I left my coat. That should be soon. I left my coat inside. I didn't, you know, what to do. I scared. That was kind of a mistake, right there. I was too scared of it. Somebody would come and catch me, and I. And I goes and crawls out and I run. I went all the way up to to Worcester. Okay. I put. So you you like you you laid down at the whenever people were were passing you on the on the street. Yeah, I would lay down in the ditch and. And then and then you went to. Uh, I, w I went up to the bus station and got a, a ticket to go to Toledo, I think. And then, or maybe it was first to Cleveland, then, then from there I got a ticket for Toledo, I think. And then from there, I didn't know where, what I was going to take to go somewhere. I wanted to go somewhere. In Dayton, I think, and then taxis wanted to haul me. And then one taxi done it for 
We've done it for twenty-eight dollars or something, and then another one came. I, I turned it down. Then another one came. I mean, it might have turned turned that one down too, maybe, until a cheap one came around. Okay. <laughs> and, uh, she threw up with your date, and then, then there I want you to go to that man's house about some uh, 23 cent penny, I think, <laughs> and they saw me walking uh, the street. sidewalk, you know, in the middle of the night, you know, and that was against the common, um, common people, I did do that. You know. And then they wanted to check on me because I was doing something uncommon, you know. Mm -hmm. And then they checked on me. I had a revolver in my pocket. Oh, <laughs> I had. I didn't. I didn't fight nothing about it. I just left to have it. But they were saying, "Why?" You was in a dangerous, you was, uh, that driver was really in danger to be driving me, you know, with that loaded gun. And so, <laughs> they had me in jail overnight there, but I was chicken enough. I knew they were going to check on me till they found found out the whole story. They knew that the car was stolen and, and wrecked and everything. So I just told them all, told them right in their face uh, what I did. I turned myself in like that. You know. So they sent somebody out and hauled me back to Worcester Chair. So, so, what was your cost like? How uh, much? How much did you have to end up paying for all that? Oh, I just had to pay about four hundred think, for that board. But I had to pay so much court costs too. You know. <laughs> so, n nothing else ever came My dad of that. I was really upset that I did such a thing. <laughs> of course. But, uh, yeah. He never trusted me with money anymore. He, he wouldn't let me make money at, at all. So I wouldn't uh, run off with money and, and go like uh, like the world does. You know, go and drive cars. <laughs> well, I guess that kind of makes sense. <laughs> But, you know, restricting your kids, you know, that's not something I really, really want, would want to have to do, but, <laughs> but, you know, after, after that <laughs> incident, they but I, I made it right with the church and everything, I repented and everything, and so they shouldn't, I shouldn't even be telling you about it again. Well, we I already know it. I just, I, I, I just, just, I just uh, thought it seemed like you knew it already. So I, yeah, <coughs> I went on and told us. Yeah, yeah, I already knew it. I just, just, just wanted to kind of a refresh. <laughs> but yeah, that was quite a wild goose chase, anyway. <laughs> Yeah, well, everybody, I guess, wants us to, uh, to sow their wild oats. Yeah, I did anyway. So, um. Well, I think uh, Mel is wanting to get his... Uh, it's the vehicle, please. My My vehicle? Uh, my vehicle is, uh, is not really, but uh, but I was having him charge my battery on my for my phone. So 
I, uh, I should get going. So, I 